rubbish, absolutely rubbish. Zero out of ten, would not want you on my team. You might have to do it, I'm too tall. Oh, excuses, excuses. I can't get <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another Harry Potter DIY for you and we have been playing some Quidditch beer pong. The rules are simple, it's basically beer pong but you've got to contend with three Quidditch hoops in the middle of your beer pong table. It's so much fun and I cannot wait to play this with some of my friends. It's currently a Monday night so we're playing with cups of water but rest assured come bank holiday weekend we're going to be playing this with beer and it's going to be great. If you would like to find out how to make your own Quidditch beer pong table, then stick around because you're not gonna wanna miss this. To start off with, we're gonna need a glue gun, some dowel rods, and some embroidery hoops. You can find these at local craft stores or on Amazon where I got mine. And you wanna start by deconstructing your embroidery hoop so you just have that outside hoop with the screw in it. Once you remove that screw, you should be able to fit the dowel rod comfortably between the two sides of the embroidery hoop. And I used a bit of hot glue on either side of where the screw used to sit, just to secure the rod in between these two sections of the hoop. Next, you're going to need some natural sand and some empty beer bottles. I used these large Bira Moretti ones, and I filled them all the way up with the sand until they look like this. These are gonna anchor your Quidditch hoop, so you wanna make sure that they're nice and heavy. Then you should be able just to slide your Quidditch hoops into the bottle, into the sand, and they should stand up pretty sweet. I use this metallic coppery bronzy spray paint to spray paint both the bottles and the hoops so that everything looked like this. It just looked a bit more like Quidditch pitchy, a bit more, you know, weathered, which I really liked. And then you're ready to set up your beer pong table. So you're gonna need to have two hoops taller than the tall middle Quidditch hoop and 12 red cups and I just used a green tablecloth to recreate like that Quidditch pitch style on my beer pong table and it also helps with any mess. To create my snitch ping pong ball I just spray painted a ping pong ball that bronzy gold colour and glued on some little felt wings. They get a bit soggy when you play this game but it's totally worth it to have the golden snitch involved in the beer pong playing. We're using water because it's a Monday night. Take 50. Yes! And that is it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. And check out my Instagram story highlights, Harry Potter, because I will be sharing some more Quidditch beer pong for sure over there. I'm gonna link down below to the original tutorial that I found this on. Um, go and check it out. It will explain it much better than I did, I'm sure, but I really wanted to try this out for a video because it looks so much fun and I really wanted to bring a Quidditch beer pong set away with me this bank holiday. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.